I was with the celebrity Dana Beers. So Penn had this uh, had this event where they had Penn National had all their like high roller gamblers, so all like the biggest winners and biggest players on the sports book, combined with a few others that just won like a random contest. So like, if you placed a bet in this one uh, pool of theirs, then you could be randomly selected. So it was like our high rollers mixed with some of our just regular betters. And, uh, and then they wanted to hang out with some Barstool people and watch the Bucks. Originally, the entire world thought, all right, this will be in Philly or Brooklyn. And that didn't work out. So they were like, right, I guess we got to go to Milwaukee. And Penn has this baller private jet. That's not like one of these like rinky dink puddle jumpers. It's like a fucking. Which is plane. that? Those are the only kinds I've taken. Those I don't. And, and those scare me. To be champagne honest. problems, of course. But sure, like, but that does like when they're when you walk on and they they have to distribute the weight when they're like all right, fat guys over here, skinny <laughs> people over there. That kind of scares me. Uh, Bro, I've been so hungover, just tangled with gas and shit because like they're like all <sighs> the seats are facing each other. Yeah, you're like, like knee to knee. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, this I, was, I was just taking Southwest guys. <laughs> honestly, it's kind of the same shit, right? This was like a couch. Two couches, three or four like individual leather chairs. They fully stocked it. They went all out. It's once you fly private like that, <laughs> you can't go back. You just you can't go back. And so we fly into Milwaukee. The walking walking onto the plane. So that's really what I learned from this whole experience between Penn hooking it up with the plane and then the suite. We walk on the tarmac. We just walk right up. We could have brought. All the Colombian blow we wanted. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh, I now I understand how they smuggle things. They just buy one of these planes. I always wonder, like, how do you get past this? Oh, it just doesn't matter. Do it this way. Uh, so there's your drugs, and there, and and you have no, you don't, you don't worry about your belt and your laptop and your shoes, like none of that unsophisticated bullshit. You just walk right up. Anytime you also walking up a flight of stairs into a plane instead of one of those hallway things, you feel like a fucking. Bro, I feel like that might fly a Delta, and they make me walk across the runway. What? When they, like sometimes when you fly up like on like a regular flight, do they? Like, oh yeah, on like it's, it's like the shuttle maybe. Uh, I feel like I'm when like, I fly on like a major plane, it's usually those you know like the the. I that, guess the that, maybe, like, I guess they're hallway thing smaller. that connects to like yeah, the, the, for the sure, gate. But you know, you've never like walked out onto the runway. I don't think oh, so. I, def- I have like numerous times. People here, right? Yeah. No. On a regular no? flight. Do you? What? Just like walked out like on the runway kind of deal. Rather, like you know, from the airport, you're at your gate, and then you walk like. Perfect. Yeah. They, yeah, like, I, it's, I, I don't know. Like, I feel what, like I'm, I'm the president. I feel like I'm getting on Air Force One. Yeah, when I, walk I, I feel like I, I, I feel like I'm like very big, and, this, and I'm just, was, and I'm going to squeeze into my seat. Like, this was Teterboro and had like a hangar too. And you see like a full size fucking hangar with multiple planes in it and shit. I'm like, this feels like Air, Area 51 or some <laughs> shit. So between that, just hopping on there, and then when we get to when we got to Milwaukee, they were awesome. The the Fiserv Center, whatever it is, they were like right this way. We went like into the basement and like the, the depths of the fucking place, and then up to our suite. No security or waiting or tickets there it was like that's that's my new you know like if i had a superpower or if i would you would i rather have you know xyz dollars or just never have to wait for anything again the no waiting on the plane and the suite was just unreal uh and then we watched the bucks beat the shit out of the hawks and the buck people in milwaukee are like loving it i mean this is like what they've this is the moment for them this is their team those games in particular are sick like a playoff game with a blowout is Dude, Brooke Lopez hitting threes. The place is Dude, going bananas. They're just b- running up the score, having a blast. I've obviously been fortunate enough to be to go to many playoff games in my life, and there have been so. seen some sick like overtime wins and close wins and shit like that. Twenty eight to three 20, comeback. Twenty eight three was a pretty then, good one. Um, but like two of my best games I've ever been to were Game Three of the Stanley Cup Finals, two thousand eleven. The Bruins won six one, maybe mm-hmm. something like that. I forget. Just a beat down. And it was just an absolute beat down. And then Pat's the Deflate Gate game. The Colts game where we beat the shit out of yeah, the Colts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when they did that ridiculous trick play, right? Uh, I don't even remember. I don't know. I got us fucked up. Like, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. I remember. But it was like, it was just like one of those things where, like, in the first quarter, like, this game's over. Let's just yeah. drink and fucking and then party. It, and then, it, and, I mean, and you're and making it, a they mockery. Keep, they keep, they of keep the pouring other. it on. It's like, ah! Like you're playing with confidence. Mm-hmm. You're not even tired. They're not putting up a fight. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, this is a blast. Uh, and Dana, so they, 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 uh, I can't even believe this, and I'm happy for him, but at the same time, uh, I, I'm just like, what? When when they found out that Dana Beers was coming, the the Bucks and the NBA called up Penn and were like, we heard Dana's coming. Shut up, really? <laughs> like, insane. Bro, how long? much longer is he going to have a different job than just being the beer guy? So I'll tell you about he it in a second. He still does. Like, I had a conversation. I know, I know. <laughs> the, so we arrive in Milwaukee. 
uh, they present him with a customized Bucks jersey with his name on the back. 69 and whatever Dana's fucking Bakaka Katari, whatever his fucking name is. Bacaca. I don't even yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Bacaca. so then they tell him that uh, they're going to put him on the Jumbotron. And, and – He's like, this is my moment. They thought that uh, I, I, I keep forgetting this guy's name. The Packers offensive lineman who's had all the games yeah. and chugs. I mean, we're, we're we're getting close enough. It's yeah. David McCarthy, McCarthy. McCarthy yeah, McCarthy, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he uh, he um, he's like nervous as fuck now because he's like, this is my my fucking moment, you know. And we're like, what are you gonna do? How long do I have? When's it gonna be? And they they kind of gave him like a, a, a like it's gonna be in the first half, and then they're like, it'll be roughly around then. And you can see like dude was like like nervous, <laughs> like what am I gonna do? When's it gonna happen? I told him I said it was like being at a being like a best man at a wedding where you just gotta get to the speech and then you can have fun. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> so this is like his speech, his moment, and uh, they put up Cheryl Crow on the thing. They put up Chance the Rapper on there. Uh, Donald Driver got like a real like pop, like big, big one. But then they're like, please welcome Barstool Sports. And they put like all of us on it. But then they like zoom in to Dana and they put Dana beers up and he stands up and he points to the back. The crowd goes wild. He chugs one beer, chugs a second beer. And then Casey stands up and pours a tall boy Miller Lite and he's yugging it. And then he takes it, hits his head, he spikes it. Now, there is beer going everywhere. And, you know, if it was in Brooklyn, I could see some, like, hipster Brooklyn assholes being like, oh, oh, like, get off of me. You know, this isn't even an IPA. <laughs> and if it was in Philly, who knows? We got people fucking, you know, pull out a knife to shank you. The people in Milwaukee were like, Happy to have Dana Beers spore, spill Miller Lite all over. <laughs> it was like, thank you, thank you, like waving up to the suite. It was unbelievable. The amount of guys who were just like, Dana Beers! I mean, he's a full-blown fucking beer-drinking celebrity. <laughs> and I said to him, like, you know, he was talking about, like, he's got to, like, get home. and Or, or he's talking about he's got to go back down to Mississippi for, like, a couple months. And I was like, fuck, man. Like, is that what you want to do? And he's kind of like... Well, I got to like, do like, my other job. And I'm like, do you really? I mean, this is like big. He's got like 200,000 followers now. Like the fucking bucks know you're coming. Like this is a big deal. You've got, you've got, you know, a zillion beers. You've got some shit here. And he was just like, I can't, how much longer can I keep doing this? <laughs> like so I'm 28 years old. It's going to kill me. <laughs> so he does understand. <laughs> like while he's chosen like to monetize and, and celebrity ties drinking beer, that also comes at a, at a cost of like, I have to drink beer. Now I'm fucking stop. <laughs> But if there's one guy who can do it, it's him. I mean, yeah. it's impressive. He throws him back. So, uh, uh, and then the dude, uh, the Packers guy, DM'd him and said, if we make it to the finals, you're coming with me. So, uh, is that, but like, what if it's game five? Uh, I mean, I, I, he said finals, so I don't know. He's he, a miles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, once Dana did the beer tweet, the Bucks went on like a 40 to 13 run. <laughs> so, if I'm the Bucks, I'd be flying him back in, like, you know, right away. But uh, I also didn't realize that. This was I, I saw the video of the celebrities. I don't know why I put it. They're, they're all celebrities uh, of the celebrities at the Milwaukee game, but I didn't realize that it went from that into. No, I, it didn't do it like right oh, away, okay, but it was okay, like okay. They, they were doing it like at this commercial break and then this commercial I break. See, I see, I and see, then see. Barstool, yeah. but Dana got his own one there, and uh, and it was so. Then we come back, we leave it like the fourth quarter, fly back. Um, oh man, so back to back moments on the way home that so uh pen has uh this girl who's awesome who like runs kind of their events and is kind of like hospitality coordinator and she's kind of like your liaison almost mm -hmm. like bring you around and show you the plane and take us to the game and all that beautiful chick she's a rocket she's fun she's a party girl she like knows her shit so um we're on the plane and she's like pouring out tequila shots and getting everybody drinks and and I'm obviously over the hill, so I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm just, like, sipping a beer, having some wine, nothing crazy. They're pouring out. They have this tequila bottle that has, like, the top is, like, a bell. And you can, like, hit. What is it? Azul. Azul, yeah. You hit oh, it. the it's blue like, and white Ding. one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone's, like, hitting the bell and all this shit. And I'm kind of like, ah, you know, I'm, just, I'm very low-key. And so then uh, on the way there, and then, you know, we get, we're getting more friendly. Everyone's talking on the way back. She's, like... Like, come on, like, why aren't you partying? And I'm sitting there, and at this point, everyone's pretty tired and drunk. And I'm like, I have, I probably have fucking kids who are closer to your age than you are to me. <laughs> and I was joking. And she was like, no, you fucking don't. And I was like, how old are you? And she was like, I'm 21. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and so I do the math, and she literally does. She literally is closer to Shay 
than I am. Really? Her. No. How old are you? She's turning six. She's twenty one. I'm thirty six. It's like fifteen and sixteen years. <laughs> I was like, holy fucking shit! I hope the plane crashes right now. I mean, that is a harrowing moment. That was like, oh, I I really didn't mean it at first, and then I was like, because I thought she was like, you'd be, like you be self defecating. Yeah. I was like, oh my god! But she was surprised. So I was like, okay. You know what I mean? She wasn't like, oh, yeah, you fucking old deadbeat, you know? <laughs> so I at least have that going for me. So that was already a moment of, like, kind of, like, dejection. Then we get back to Teterboro. And we're, uh, we, um, shout out to Spider, who I guess always make sure that there's Ubers waiting when you get off the plane. We forgot about that. So we got to get an Uber. And it's got to come all the way to this, like, private terminal. So it's, you know, life's tough. We had to wait 15 minutes for the Uber. So we're sitting there. It's like 2 in the morning. Like I said, everyone's pretty tired and drunk. And a couple other planes who did, just did the same thing in Milwaukee land in, in Teterboro and come back, come through the same terminal. And this one guy's like, hey, are you guys Bucks fans? Because Dana and Marty had bought some gear. And they're like, uh, tonight we were not really. It was just a thing. And he's like, oh, all right. Well, like, did you go to the game? And he's like, you're like, yeah. And he said, like, who brought you there? We're like, what do you mean, dude? Like, we brought ourselves there. <laughs> It's like, what company? And I was like, well, it's Barstool, but it's Penn. And in my mind, I'm like, anybody who's here is probably an important person because mm -hmm. they're on flying private, And but whatever. I'm beat at this point, mad that the Ubers aren't there. And he's like, we're like, it's Barstool, but we have this company with Penn, and they're the, they're the ones with the plane. It's just a thing, man, you know? <laughs> People aren't even, like, making eye contact with this guy. And he goes, all right, well, I own the team, so <laughs> thanks for the support, guys. <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> Fuck! Just like the greatest, most subtle flex. Well, I own the franchise that you just like flew to watch. Uh, and then immediately, like, I kick into gear, and I'm like, he's like, oh, we're like, oh my god, wow, that's amazing. Like, we love the, you know, they blew him out tonight. And he's like, what, you know, what were you guys doing? So I showed him the the Dana Jumbotron video, and he like got a kick out of it. He loved it. And he's like, all right, like, have a, have a good one, guys. Like, see you later, you fucking dumb assholes. <laughs> and he goes. And Great networking, boys. <laughs> yeah. Like, total. I didn't get a picture. Didn't didn't get a, you know, shake a hand and remind him that you were Barstool Sports. And <laughs> Mark Lassery, $1.8 billion net worth. <laughs> fucking billionaire. Primary owner. There's, like, three guys who own the Bucks, but I think he's, like, the head honcho. And I'm sitting there like, I'm tired. <laughs> Bro, can you just leave me alone? Can't you see? I'm dejected at this moment. <laughs> like, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. I just I'm met, old. I just met this girl who's fucking like daughter's age. <laughs> Pouring shots. <laughs> just leave me alone for a minute, please. <laughs> it was something, man. It was, it was something.